Time for our next speaker, uh, Ms. Elizabeth Robertson. She has uh, recently joined the Office of Graduate Study as a technical editor there. And we have been receiving a lot of emails from the graduate students that they need somebody who help can help them with a the technical editor. This is one of the very valuable service that Office of Graduate Studies provides us. And we are looking forward to the service. And she needs some of your input so we can help you better. So over to you. Hopefully when you came in, you got a packet of papers. If you didn't, you may want to pick one up um, as you head out. I think there are probably a few left up at the top. Um, one of the things that I, I'd like you to look at if you have those first is there's a survey in there. Um, I'm interested in getting student feedback. As you mentioned, this is, this is a new position. There was a technical editor here before. The editor before did not, um, she didn't work full time, she was over in the writing center. This is a new position that has just been created in the Office of Graduate Studies. I'm here to work strictly with graduate students. I don't work with undergrads, I don't work with editing faculty, I edit for graduate students. We are interested in your feedback, what you want, what you need, what you expect from these services to help us make sure that we are providing, um, we're providing the best service as possible. So if you take a few minutes to work through that survey, you can work through it while I'm talking. That won't, that won't bother me if you want to wait until I'm finished. But take a few minutes if you could, and I'd like to have those back at the end of the meeting tonight um, so that we can work on getting those services going for you. Other things included in the papers, I have my business card in there if you need to contact questions, um, if you'd like to meet with me, my card is in there. You'll also see that I've included the brochure that we have created for this editing position. It's just a brief description of the services we provide, how you can get your work edited, what to expect, things like that. Um, I want to go over how to get your work edited. First of all, to qualify for the editing services, you simply need to be enrolled here on campus as an SMT grad student. Half time, full time doesn't matter. You simply need to be an enrolled on campus SMT graduate student. Um, because I'm the only one there editing right now, unfortunately, we have to limit our services uh, somewhat. I can only edit work related to either a thesis or dissertation. Now, that includes journal articles that will be included later, uh, that will be uh, a part of the thesis or dissertation. This includes conference papers. This includes PhD proposals, dissertation proposals. Any work related to either a thesis or dissertation, I can edit that for you. So on campus, enrolled as a T grad student, thesis dissertation related. And again, this is all covered in the brochure. So you have, let's say that you have the document that you want me to edit. There are a couple of things that I need you to do with regards to formatting that document so that I can give you the best edits possible. Keep in mind, you can bring in a first draft to me if you are writing through a lit review and you're not sure you're headed in the right direction, bring it in and say, I don't really need you to edit this line by line, I just need you to read this and tell me if I'm doing what I need to do with a lit review. Or if you're writing an abstract, you're working through your abstract and you say, I'm not sure what to do with this. You can bring that in. You can bring it in if you think it's polished and ready to go. You can bring it in at that level of the draft, and I will look at it through my by line editing. So any level, at any level, any stage of writing, feel free to bring that by. What I need you to do, though, and this is, I'm just going to go right down the middle of this brochure here, is I need you to make sure it's double spaced. It needs to be double spaced because I work through these documents putting pencil to paper. Double spaced makes sure that I have room to write the things I need to write in there. If it's single spaced, I simply don't have enough room to write those edits in there. So it needs to be double spaced. Times New Roman, 12 point font, nice big font, so that we can clearly see what was there before and the edits I'm suggesting you make. Numbered pages, ideally, 
they need to be numbered according to the manner in which you're going to publish. If you're going to publish in a journal article and the journal article wants those page numbers in the bottom of the page, in the middle, go ahead and put those page numbers there. Theses and dissertations is going to be the top right hand corner. Numbered pages and no staples. I work back and forth a lot through your documents, so don't staple them. You're going to print your, make sure it's formatted in that manner, print it out, and then bring it into the office. That's where this graduate editing request comes in. I need this filled out so that I can apply the most appropriate edits to your situation. So obviously I need your name. If you're submitting an abstract or a lit review, whatever it might be, chapter three of your dissertation, that's not gonna have your name on it. So I'm gonna need your name. I need to know what semester you're graduating. For those of you graduating this semester, you know how, how tight those deadlines can get. I cannot submit anything four weeks prior to a copy being due at the library. So if you're working on a thesis or dissertation for this semester, I can't submit in, I can't accept anything after March 2nd, this semester, because I need time to edit it, you need time to revise it, and then you need time to take that and have it checked for formatting issues before you submit to the library. So I need you to let me know what semester you graduate, what department you're with, master's, PhD. I need to know your advisor and instructor, and I'll let you know why in a minute. Total number of pages to be edited. This is kind of a, a, a checks and balances system for me. If you think that you've turned in 15 pages and I go through and I only count 12, I'm going to send you a quick email that says, this, this, these are not the same. Are you sure you need 15 pages? Am I missing something here? Just so that I make sure I'm editing what you think I'm editing. Um, style guides. I realize this may be something of a new concept to you. If you don't know the style guide that you're using, on your document, you can simply check I don't know, but for some of you, you're going to know. You're applying APA, you're applying Chicago, IEEE, whatever it might be, so that I can make sure I'm applying the most appropriate style guide, the most appropriate citations and things of that nature. Again, if you don't know, that's okay. When you indicate a conference paper, article, thesis, dissertation, when you indicate that to me, I can often go back and look and see what style guide needs to be applied. So. If you don't know, it's okay to say I don't know. I can help you find that. That's not a problem. I received that, and I, I kind of sign you in, so to speak. First come, first serve. I will write down what date you brought it in, and then I estimate when I'm going to have those edits complete, and I'll send you an email letting you know I've received this document, and I will try to be as specific as possible so that if you think you turned in your article, but by mistake you brought your thesis by, you can say, no, 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 it's not what I wanted edited. So I'll try to be very specific. I've received this to be edited. I estimate the edits will be completed on this date. Um, you don't have to respond to that if you don't want to. This is just uh, this is just an opportunity for you to know how long it's going to take for these edits to be done. Coincidentally, when you come into the Office of Graduate Studies, that sign-up sheet is right there on the desk. When you sign in, you will know exactly how many documents I'm working on at that time, and you'll know exactly where you fall into the queue. For example, right now, I have eight documents on my desk to be edited. They average 10 to 15 pages each. You would be ninth if you came in right now, and your estimated completion date would be sometime in March. So you're going to know as soon as you bring it in approximately how many I'm working on and how long it's going to be before I can get that back to you. Once I start working on your document, again, I work line by line, pencil to paper, and I look at everything. I'm going to try to look at formatting for you to the best of my abilities if you're submitting in a journal, you're submitting a thesis, it's very easy to find those formats. So I'm going to look at formatting, I'm going to look at citations. If something looks, if it looks like you're referring to someone else's research, I'm going to question you, does this need a citation or is this your work? I'm, of course I'm looking at spelling, grammar, punctuation, things like that. I'm also going to be looking at uh, organization. Wait a minute, you were just talking about step three, now you're talking about six, and now you're talking about two. Is there a reason for this organization? I'm really going to pick your document apart, so to speak. I do that because um, 
I don't think it's to your benefit to turn something into me and I say, it's fantastic, and I turn it back over. No, I'm going to be as critical as possible, and I'm going to question everything in your paper. Don't take that personally. I'm just trying to give you the best edits possible. I keep track of how long it takes me to edit this so that if you want to know, if your advisor wants to know, we have, we have a record of how long it takes me to edit that. Once I'm done, I will email you. I've completed your edits. What day can you meet with me? A consultation is required for you to receive your document back. I will not return it to you unless we meet. I do that for several reasons. I need to sit down with you and show you, this is what I've changed, this is what this mark means. There are lots of weird editing marks, and so I can explain, this is what this mark means, this is what this means. I have changed this, I have changed that. It also gives me an opportunity to say, I really wasn't sure if you're referring to your research or not. Explain this to me, does this need a citation? Or, I'm really not sure that I see a connection between these two paragraphs. Do we need to include something here that connects these two thoughts? So it's a chance for me to explain what I've done and ask you some questions. It's also a chance for you to ask me some questions. You can look through it as we work through and you can say, what does this mean? Why did you do this? What does this say? So it's a chance for us to work back and forth to make sure the edits are, are as thorough and complete and as accurate as possible. Once you leave my office, you don't have to come back again. If, you, if you're satisfied with the edits, you like them, you take them, you revise your paper, you don't have to come back. But I always encourage students to return at least once more to make sure that those edits and that revised paper is exactly what you want. That's exactly what you want. That what we thought we were saying, we really did say. But you're not required to visit me again. And in fact, none of these services at least for my position, are required. You're not required at all to do that. Um, once you leave my office, I don't think you have a copy of this because this is more for your advisor, but I fill out a graduate editing summary. I fill this out and send it to your advisor. This lets your advisor know, I edited this document for, this stu for your student. This is the document I edited. This is what we discussed. These are the edits that I made. These are suggestions that I made. And I send this to your advisor, so your advisor knows. You came by and, and got some edits for your article, your thesis, whatever it might be. Um, and again, it's a chance for your advisor to contact me if he or she has some questions, or for me to contact the advisor if I have some questions. And that's essentially the editing process. Um,